Thank you, Sarah. We'll see you in just a bit. So we've told you about these big declines in COVID-related hospitalizations lately. In both Carolinas, we've had recent days where the set, states have set records for largest patient decreases from day to day. But does that mean that these are all people who are getting better and are being discharged from the hospital? One of our viewers reached out to me to see how he should interpret these declines. Viewer Scott Reed tweeted us this question asking how hospitalization numbers are affected by COVID deaths. So here's the question we're answering. When the hospitalizations metric declines, does that decrease include both people who recovered and people who succumbed to COVID-19? Our sources are the North Carolina DHHS Coronavirus Dashboard and South Carolina's Interim Public Health Director, Dr. Brandon Draxler. First, what does the hospitalizations metric measure? Those are raw numbers that are representing how many people with COVID-19 are hospitalized on a given day. The North Carolina Coronavirus Dashboard states something similar. It says the hospitalization figure helps us understand how many people were hospitalized with COVID-19 and how close hospital beds are to capacity. So essentially this metric shows us the virus's total burden on our hospital systems. As it rises, it doesn't differentiate between a new patient and somebody who's been in the hospital for a while. Similarly, when the number declines, it doesn't and separate recoveries and deaths. If it decreases, it could be um, for, for either of those reasons. Give you an idea of just how quickly these drops are coming. Today, the day over day decrease, I should say, decrease in North Carolina was more than 130 people. And the largest decrease that we have seen was actually a week ago today when North Carolina saw its patient census drop by more than 180 people from the day before. So if you have any COVID related questions or metrics related questions, feel free to reach out to me on my social media pages. I'm happy to take any of those questions and get you some answers. And be sure to stick around as well. Coming up ahead at five, I'm going to be talking about North Carolina's highest daily deaths that we've been seeing of the entire pandemic. They're happening right now. And so we'll be explaining why we're seeing these big numbers while our other metrics have been declining.